In video 2, we're going to talk about edit in the menu bar. Now this I absolutely adore, Art Rage Preferences. Let's go into that. And then here you're going to see Open All Groups, Close All Groups, or Reset Preferences to Default. If you open all groups, then every one of these opens as you can see, or you can shut or open them by clicking on the arrow. Now your tool tip delay is five seconds. That's when you're hovering over a tool. It takes 0.5 seconds to come up and show you what it is. These are toggle switches. If you don't want it to play sounds, then you undo it or you put it back. As you can tell, the background color is the same as here. If I reset it, it goes back to white, and I can also choose it from here, and click OK. Now as far as the control tint color, I have mine set to red. You can choose blue dusk, or any one of these. The default, of course, is art lime. Now, if I want to change this, I can reset it. I can use current paint color, for instance. I could change it to that. Or if I had done this before I came in here, it would give me a blue. But I happen to like bright red. I can see it better in my tools. Now if we come down here, you've got your automatic updates. Your cursors are either precise, outline, or tool. And I like mine at precise, magnified. But if I click this, then click OK, I now have the tool. So let's go back into Art Rage Preferences cursors, and I'm going to change mine back. Now on our input device, you can read it. I have a precise tablet, so I have mine checked. Let's go into panels. You can scale them. Uh, you know already that you could right click and put it to 50, 75, 100, up to 200 percent, but maybe you want it to be only 88 percent. Well, you could either move the slider or you can click in here and actually put a percent and click enter. The rotation, if you want to rotate anything, you can from here on your panels or you can reset the panel positions. And then it says it requires restart and then you click OK and then you'd have to restart Art Rage. In your filters, this will go into the filters folder, but if you click the plus sign, if you have some of your filters in Photoshop, you could go wherever they are in Photoshop, highlight them, and then they'd come in here. So let's cancel out and click OK. Now let's go back up to edits and let's talk about the set keyboard shortcuts. Now I'm going to right click and set scale to 100% so you can see this. Remember I, I put it down to 78. Now in here all of these are shortcut keys that the Art Rage team has given the program. I happen to have changed a couple of things to do with layers. For instance, delete layer, I gave it F12. Now all you have to do is where the dots are is click on it and then it's going to tell you to press a new shortcut key or, or key combination. If I press F11, it's changed and I can click OK and it's changed here. I happen to like F12 so I'm going to put it back and click OK. I've also given it a little tick mark that's in the upper left hand corner for the clear layer 
because I like to be, have it do it fast. Duplicate layer is F2. I like to keep my delete layer and my duplicate layer across from each other. And just set your shortcuts up to how you like to work. I'm going to click OK. And in the next video, we're going to talk about tools.